Dear friends, I don't know if this letter will reach you. I have spent three and a half months in detention. I am facing ridiculous charges. You all know why I am here in prison. Khadija Ismailova is the leading investigative reporter in Azerbaijan, and she has tackled corruption at the highest levels of the Azerbaijani government. Khadija Ismailova is my Azeri translator. She is a critical voice. She brings awareness. She became the host of the daily radio show. She would ask tough questions. It doesn't matter if it was opposition member or government. Anyone who appeared on a show had a difficult time. And this is why the show was the most popular show in Azerbaijan. And she was a role model for young journalists. The government was after Khadija for a long time, but she made this conscious choice. And that's the example she wanted to give to fellow journalists, that you don't have to be afraid. I may be arrested. I've been warned several times. I'm not afraid. When you have to do investigative journalism in Azerbaijan, uh, you may end up paying with your life. Azerbaijan is a country between Caspian Sea and Black Sea. In the north, you have Russia. In the south, Iran. You know, this is an oil-rich country, and there is a lot of money coming to Azerbaijan. They host major international events as a way to burnish their reputation and get positive press. Ahead of the Eurovision Song Contest, Khadija was out there doing her work, exposing corruption. She tirelessly started investigating the corruption deals, and she sees the connection to the president's family. Her investigative reporting really angered, the, I believe, the president, and that's why she's in jail. The only way to prove oppressive regimes wrong is to continue uncovering corruption. My arrest proves one more time that it is important to make change happen. Yes, there is a price to pay, but it is worth it. She knew the results of her coverage would be dire. She's not stopping now that she's in prison. She's still writing letters. She never stops, and she has said that the world moves towards freedom and peace and justice, but only when people risk their lives often to make that happen. Keep fighting, guys. Keep fighting for human rights, for those who are silenced. If the arrest is a prize for it, it's okay. It's worth it. I think there's a kind of moral obligation, if you are a writer who enjoys freedom, to fight for the same freedoms for other writers. Her imprisonment is, is a violation of a very central human rights principle. It's a call to action. That's why I've decided to join Penn in calling for her release. Penn subscribes to many abstract ideals, but it also wants to accomplish concrete and specific goals. And with the Freedom to Write Award, we have been able, time after time, to bring about the restoration of liberty to people who had been deprived of it. It's a very powerful tool. Ходите пен клуб, значит грамоту выделили. Может быть, эта грамота ей поможет. Вы подали ей надежду, и я очень благодарна. Я вас целую, я вас обнимаю. I am full of hope that truth and justice will win. Please support by standing for freedom of speech as loudly as possible. This is my wish. We miss her a lot, um, but, um, you know, I think we will get her back soon. And she makes us strong, all of us. It is not easy at all to move justice forward, but always worth trying. Stay strong. Peace, Khadija. <laughs>